welcome to the Carolina Custom Kits channel. Today I would like to go over a little bit of information on our Top Flight Redo P47 kit. The kit is obviously isn't available from, from Top Flight and hopefully at some point it will be. But I've had some orders for some so I've decided that I would go ahead and, and do a little bit of a redesign on the kit. And today I'd like to show you some of those features. I've been getting a lot of questions about what I've done in order to um, uh, make the changes and, and make this kit a little bit better. First of all, just real quick, I've um, got my Razorback canopy in and also the cowl in from Fiberglass Specialties. And, and uh, they look great to me. Obviously, that's going to pretty much sit right there. And then this cowl... Um, is a is a perfect fit. What I did is I took the original plan, stuck with the design, but then made some construction changes that makes it a little bit easier, a little bit more self-aligning, and I think uh, a little bit more fun to build. So, uh, real quick, just to go over a couple of those things, I've got the frame kind of taped up, just in it's just sitting here not glued. There will be a build thread here coming up. I've just been super busy so I haven't been able to get uh, to it. But what I've done is I've created this light ply box that all the formers attach around. So you're going to build this box with a there's a little doubler in here. Super strong, super light. Top Flight had all of these formers as just regular ply. And so with this with this box I was able to make all of these formers light ply kind of negating any type of um, added weight from, from this box structure. But what this does is it allows you to build this airplane, build the box completely straight, and, and keep the airplane completely straight from start to Another finish. Another feature that I added for the electric guys is this hatch. And obviously, let me just back up here, um, this canopy is going to go on. Right about there and there's enough room right in front of the canopy where this hatch can be removable so that you can get at any kind of batteries that you're going to use to um, uh, power a 55 cc or 60 cc electric motor equivalent. Let's talk a little bit about the wing construction. Basically the same ribs, same design. What I've done is I have created a, a full depth what I'm calling a clamshell spar, bottom spar, top spar, they, they clamshell together around the ribs to lock them in place. Um, all the slots are cut. And then what I've done, probably can't see it here, but, uh, but I've got a plywood doubler from the root rib all the way out past the, uh, um, the landing gear block. The landing gear block, there's a pre-cut block that kind of fits in shape and then you'll add on the back side you'll add some additional um, hardwood in order for you to mount your landing gear and it's designed to fit the robot gear that that was made for this kit. Flap aileron sheets are pre-cut. There is a what I'm calling a subspar for the flap and then on the trailing edge of the airplane that um, glues in, locks in with the ribs. Same thing on the uh, aileron. Maybe you can see it. What I've done is I've created a 1 32nd ply trailing edge that is pre-cut, predetermines the, the shape of the back of the wing that gets laminated in between the 3 32nd inch sheeting on both sides. This allows for the shape of the wing and then it gives it a little additional strength so you're not worried too much about Nicking the uh, nicking the trailing edge on on any of these uh, surfaces. Also, the tip tip sheeting is cut. Same thing. I've used a little 32nd inch ply doubler that's going to go in here, give the tip the shape. Also, create the strength that uh, that you're looking for instead of having to put a block on there and shaping the block. Leading edge is slightly different in that you're going to put a triangle stock piece that lines up with all the ribs. You're going to trim that triangle stock piece to match the airfoil. This gives you a little bit of additional gluing surface for the sheeting. Once you sheet that, shape that to the uh, proper airfoil, you're going to add a leading edge 
balsa piece and fi finalize the, uh, the leading edge shape. So to me, all in all, a little bit simpler to build. Um, everything, again, locks together. Everything's tabbed into place. Uh, one more thing is you can see that the, the mounting pins right here for the wing have um, alignment uh, holes in the spar and in the leading edge. Also tabs on on all of the ribs to, to build it flat. What I've done as well, and let me see if I can find these pieces very quickly. So I've also created these cradles. So you build the, the wing on the surface flat, make sure it's flat. Once you get the top sheeted and everything's uh, you're happy with that. Before you sheet the bottom wing, make sure you finish everything inside. And before you sheet the bottom, you actually mount these cradles to your building board. And then they go, this one goes on W2G. So this one's going to go on right here. And you got another one in the center and another one at the tip. And this cradle is going to hold this wing in the proper position so that when you put the lower or the um, bottom sheeting on, you're not going to warp the wing into some strange shape. And these cradles are included with the kit, and I'll do a video on, on how to actually use them when I sheet the bottom of this wing. A couple of uh, other um, design or construction improvements. This is the uh, rudder that I completely built up just for uh, testing purposes. You can see that pretty much all of the sheeting is pre-cut, tabbed in there, so you can easily construct something. You don't have to worry about cutting um, the complex curves and everything. So that's super easy to build. The, the structure kind of looks like this. What you've got here are the ribs that, that interlock in with the leading edge and the trailing edge. So everything lines up perfectly. Um, you, I've also made this, and you can not see it, but I'm going to grab it here. Um, back here so that the stabs plug in. So once you get these constructed and covered and everything, you, um, I'm just using some dowels here. You can you can use some carbon fiber, but the dowels seem to be okay. You're going to slide those on and glue that in place. Change the back end a little bit to make it a little easier to construct. And also, same thing with the um, with the fin here is it actually slides into some slots. Once you build this, it slides into some slots to, to make it perfectly square and, and straight. So easy alignment for, um, for the finish stages of construction on this kit. Just some basic information about our um, uh, Top Flight Redo kit and hopefully I can get to some other top flight kits as, as I get some orders in the future and maybe I can spur Horizon Hobby um, back into the production of these models. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on Carolina Custom Kits.